This is Jupiter today for the 19th of January, 2015. Jupiter today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 30 minutes, 4 seconds, declination of positive 15 degrees, 44 minutes, 39.6 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 158.528 degrees, and that's 1.133 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 3.875 degrees, getting very small, and that's 0.195 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance continues to get less and less, but not quite as fast anymore. Today the distance is 658,006,934 kilometers. And that's 867,574 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between the Earth and Jupiter of 36,148.92 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,811.83 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC. CM1, 21.35 degrees, CM2, 179.49 degrees, and CM3, 83.03 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa starts behind Jupiter but is going to be moving into quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends almost all day in quadrant one, heading east. By six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west, but getting close to its western elongation. At 12 hours UTC, EO is past its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. Ganymede has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3, heading west for the rest of the day. And by 18 hours, Jupiter is still in quadrant 4, heading east, but starting to move behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO is in quadrant 1, still heading east. Europa has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And Callisto just has just passed its eastern elongation. So it's now in quadrant two, slowly going to be heading west. There were seven Jupiter satellite events. At 116 UTC, Ganymede, the shadow of Ganymede, will ingress. At 211 UTC, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. At 305, the transit of Ganymede begins at 4.54 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. At 6.43 UTC, the transit of Ganymede ends. And towards the end of the day, 18.25, Io disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 21.11, Io reappears from behind Jupiter. Okay, there are three satellite mutual events, and once again we'll be looking at, at Google Earth 
to pinpoint the location on the planet where Jupiter appears at the zenith at the time of the event. So from 231 to 236 UTC, Ganymede occults Europa. It's a 5.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.465, but it's only 6.96 arc seconds from Jupiter, so that's going to be a difficult one to observe. And as you can see, most of Africa can see it. Most of Europe will be able to see it. Some of South America will be able to see it. Maybe the extreme east coast of, of North America. The next event takes place from 1227 to 1234 UTC, and that's when Ganymede eclipses EO. It's a seven minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of EO of 0.196 magnitudes. And the eclipse takes place 95.28 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Ganymede and EO are 23.93 arc seconds apart. And as you can see, folks on the west coast of North America will be able to see this, and folks in Hawaii, and maybe a little bit of Australia, and the rest of the Western Pacific. And from 1336 to 1342 UTC, Ganymede occults EO. That's a 5.6 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.181. It happens 83.59 arc seconds from Jupiter. And people in Alaska and the northwest coast of North America may be able to see this. It's going to be very low. People in Australia will be able to see it as well, and the Eastern Asia and the Western Pacific will be able to witness this event, as well as folks in Hawaii. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Europa has just popped out of Jupiter's shadow there. see the Ganymede just moved out of the alignment between Jupiter and the Sun. Europa and Callisto are going to have a close encounter from Jupiter's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 741 and the second at 1737 UTC. There was a new image posted. no new radio data and no new papers. The time of this recording is 127 UTC on the 19th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Very much enjoy hearing your comments. Welcome to the new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying. Would enjoy hearing your 
comments and questions and suggestions and seeing your images. The images are going to be forming a database that I am developing and creating, which will be able to track weather conditions on Jupiter. So send in your images. Thanks for those. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.